I have just given Octopus the go-ahead to rip out my old gas boiler, permanently disconnect my gas supply, and replace it all with a Cozy 9 heat pump. And in this mini series of videos here on this channel, I'm going to be taking you all along with me for the ride. I'll be one of, if not the, first houses in the UK to receive a Cozy 9 heat pump set to run at a slightly higher maximum temperature than their standard earlier installs. And I'll show you my journey right from getting my first quote from Octopus to placing my order and having my home survey done, including considerations of planning permission, not required, noise assessments, no issue, connection to our local electricity network, no issue, getting the £7,500 government grant, which was very straightforward. I just authorised Octopus to apply for it on my behalf. And then finalising the details and giving the final green light. I'll show you the whole install process as it happens, go through all the costs and finer details, and then once it's installed and up and running, I'll be able to tell you how well it works and how we find using it and living with it, and of course, how much it costs to run. I'll also be exploring in a later video what types of home automations I can get working with it and how it will integrate with my existing smart home setup. By the way, if you're considering getting either a heat pump or a solar panel system installed by Octopus, then make sure you give them my discount code, which is in the video description, to get £100 off your own installation. You don't need to be an Octopus Energy customer, but if you're thinking of switching to them as well, and I'd highly recommend them, then if you sign up using my referral link, you'll also get £50 bill credit when you join. All my referral links and discount codes are in the video description, or if you're watching this on a TV, you can scan the QR code that's on your screen now. Having a heat pump installed at the end of April, of course, means I won't really be able to test fully how well it works in the depths of winter for quite some time, as we'll mostly be using it for our hot water until the cold weather kicks back in. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified when I'm ready to share that with you as well. In the rest of this video, I'll show you my house and our existing setup, which consists of a gas boiler, hot water tank, and an old solar thermal system, which no longer works properly after a bird decided to nest under one of the panels and chew the wires to the temperature sensor. I've had to get the solar thermal disconnected before Octopus can install the heat pump, and once it's installed, we'll barely need the solar thermal anyway, so I've decided to avoid the cost of having it reconnected and repaired and just have it all removed, especially as that space on our roof could house a few extra solar PV panels in the future, which are far more useful and solar thermal. So if you're wondering about our house and our current setup, here goes. It's a three bedroom semi-detached house in South Liverpool, which we extended by way of a loft conversion back in 2016, just before our twin boys were born to make it four bedroom. It's a reasonably well insulated house with double glazing throughout, and we had external wall insulation applied back in 2014 when the coalition government were giving away free money. As part of the 2016 loft conversion, we moved and replaced our gas boiler with this Worcester Bosch 18 kilowatt system boiler, which is just coming up to nine years old. We have two nest thermostats, one for the downstairs and first floor, and then a second for the converted loft, which is on a separate heating zone. The two nests won't work directly with the cozy heat pump, unfortunately, but I'm gonna hold fire on selling them just in case I can find a way to get them to work via the API and Home Assistant or anything like that. If you've got any advice or tips on that, which might help me, please leave them in the comments. During the loft conversion, we also replaced the hot water cylinder for this horizontal one so it could fit in the loft eaves. Although the installers didn't do that great a job when they located it half in the cold eaves and half in the boiler cupboard there with some insulation stuffed messily in the gap there. It's been on my to-do list for nine years now to improve that, so I'll definitely have to try and build up the stud wall around that with a circular cutout to improve the insulation. I might put some extra insulation around the part of the cylinder that's sitting in the cold and uninsulated loft eaves too. On the subject of bad jobs, just look at this awful rabbit's nest of messy wires. I'm really looking forward to having a lot of that ripped out and replaced with a setup which will hopefully be a lot neater, easier to understand and all nicely labelled. On the plus side, this twin coil cylinder is suitable for use with the cosy heat pump because the area of its coil is one cubic metre, which was good news because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to go ahead with Octopus at all as the cylinder they would have replaced it with is a vertical cylinder, which is too tall to fit in this cupboard, so the whole project would have been a non-starter. It's also good that I don't have the extra expense of having to buy a cylinder, so that should bring the install cost down. Shouldn't it? I mean, I don't need to buy a cylinder, so they don't need to supply me with one, and I don't need to buy one off them, right? Well, I thought so, but the nearly one-size-fits-all program that Octopus are running would have classed that as a discount, and since I initially placed my order when they had a 20% sale on, they said I can't have more than one discount applied to the order, which I thought was a bit odd because in my mind, not needing to buy something from someone doesn't mean you're getting a discount, it just 
you know, means you're not buying it from them. That's my only real criticism of Octopus. They've been absolutely brilliant apart from that. And after quite a bit of friendly back and forth on the matter, and Octopus taking it up with some higher powers, common sense eventually prevailed and my quote was reduced. Although it was still high enough for me to be considering cancelling the whole thing and getting my deposit back. I'll go through all the install costs in the video after the heat pump is installed, but in a nutshell, the initial proposal was that we'd be having three radiators replaced. This one in the master bedroom up in the converted loft, and these two in the main family bathroom on the first floor. All the other radiators around the house were fine with just those needing replacing. However, with my finger hovering over the cancel button, Octopus went away and explored options which wouldn't require me to have those three radiators replaced, so reducing materials and labour cost quite a lot as well as the environmental cost, of course, of scrapping three perfectly good radiators. Their systems weren't yet set up for this as they hadn't officially launched this second configuration option at this point, so they had to run all the numbers for me manually based on the heat loss calculations that had been done during the home survey. This would involve setting up the heat pump to run at a higher maximum temperature of 63 degrees rather than 50. That's just the highest it'll go, don't forget, on the very coldest of cold days. So if I'm understanding correctly, it won't be up there all the time, but it will use a bit more electricity to run at that temperature when it is and when it's extra cold outside. However, given that that change basically halved my install cost, I think that's going to be a price very much worth paying as I'm pretty sure I would never have made that extra expense back in my lifetime from very slightly lower running costs. But I guess we'll see. We might want to extend out the back of our house in a few years, so the Cozy 9 heat pump is going to be located here, round the side passage of my house and directly below where my hot water cylinder is, with the flow and return pipes running up the side of my house there. Unfortunately, because that's quite high up and with my home's external foam insulation meaning they can't secure ladders to the wall, Octopus are insisting on scaffolding, which is costing me an extra £800, which is a bit of a shame, but then I do want the installers to be safe, and I'll take the opportunity to do a couple of jobs up there whilst it's up if I can. My consumer unit is round here at the front of the house in the dining room, so I may have to dig out this area under the gravel so the cable can be routed inside neatly, like I did when our EV charger was installed a few years ago. So to summarise the process from the start up until now, I got my initial quote back in October 2024, then paid my £200 deposit to kickstart the process in mid-December. My heat pump survey was then carried out towards the end of January 2025, after which I got my detailed heat loss calculations. No planning permission is required for the heat pump at the side of my house and there's no issue with any noise assessment. Scaffolding is required, as I said, due to the height of the pipe run. Extra cost, but then there's not much I can do about that. DNO approval flew through with no issues, and I have a 100 amp main fuse at the house, so there's plenty of breathing room there, even with our EV charger running, which maxes out at 30 amps. I authorised Octopus to apply for the Boiler Upgrade Scheme grant on my behalf. I then received some documentation for an insurance policy. I think that's to do with the warranty, just in case Octopus were to go bust in the next few years. Then I received my £7,500 voucher from Ofgem. I arranged with the third party company to come and disconnect and remove my solar thermal system. And then I got an install date booked in for the end of April. I had three choices when it came to my gas supply, capping the gas at the boiler to enable me to use gas elsewhere in the house, capping at the meter to enable reconnection in future if I wanted to, or the option I went for, full removal of the gas meter and all supply to the property. And Oxpus have already booked in for someone to come and remove the gas meter on day two of the install, so I won't be paying the 29.86 pence daily standing charge for gas anymore, saving 108.99 a year. Yay! Coming up in the next video, installation day arrives and a team of octopuses turn up bright and early to get started. Click the video on screen to watch that now.